James with an M here, and I'm going to be reviewing my top six fragrances that I just love so much. You know, and you got summer comings, and things are just they're going great. But anyway, these are my um, top six fragrances. Um, a few of these are actually pretty underrated. So first one I have here. This one is Outlaw, Cologne for Men by Fragrance One. And this one, it's got pretty, you know, stylish cap. It's all black. I really like the look that it implies inside. It has a very nice smell. Upon smelling it, it is a very fresh, woodsy scent. It uh, has a lot of really nice notes. It's got some lavender and bergamot. Truly and vetiver, along with some cedar wood. This one is really nice. I really like it with a crowd of it. Definitely works for the summer and fall seasons. And longevity, it's it's been able to last me up to six to eight hours. I really appreciate this stuff here. Now, this next one is Aqua G D G O Porom by G G O Romani. And this one, this fragrance. Credit is given where credit is due. It is very nice. It is, in my humble opinion, the most, or the best, aquatic fragrance there is. Granted, the longevity for this one isn't that good at all. I'm having to spray it on multiple times a day. As you can clearly see in the bottle piece here, that it, um, I've used quite a bit of it. And... Uh, this one, it's I really like that it's foggy glass look. I love the simplicity of this bottle, but it doesn't really meet my satisfactional standards as far as um its longevity goes. Again, like I'm saying, I'm having to spray it on quite a few times throughout the day, and for a lot of people, that's typically a problem, as you might be out and about, and some of these you might not want to get damaged. However, the way I do like about it is that it has aquatic notes. It has lavender. It has also bergamot, patchouli, incense, lavender, and I believe it has some lime notes in there as well. A very beautiful summer fragrance. Makes you feel fresh, makes you feel clean. I love it. Always have, always will. And this next one here, this is the reformulation of Angel Men by Terry Mugler. And I just love this fragrance. It is very strong, very nice, very sexy and seductive. But it is also very, very strong. Works great with leather. And uh, I really love its design. But again, the atomizer. I really don't like this atomizer. It's very annoying to use. And I can't typically stand it. It is very annoying. But overall, do you like the design and simplicity of this one? But it's also its uniqueness at the same time. It's very... You, like you see this and you just know that it's the angel, the angel on the angel man line now what I love about this is its longevity especially it can last for a very long time it is very powerful very strong it's lasted me up to 16 hours before um, and again it's a great winter fragrance you're gonna get a lot of tonka bean vanilla coffee I think there are some chocolate notes in there it's a very good nice strong scent definitely recommend it this next one here is cremo number four cedar and blue cypress and this one i got at a price for about fifteen dollars now this when i think of quality in a bottle this is definitely your bang for your buck this is a very very woodsy scent imagine a a uh, what you would call say a Scent scented firewood just before it's the firewood it is very nice i love its little glass design it is very um sweet but also for 15 dollars this is really good but the atomizer of course you can tell it's cheap because the actual atomizer itself isn't that great but and also this piece the inside here does tend to come off sometimes but overall i love this scent it's very nice it lasts me record for quite a long time and on the human skin it's just amazing. Great summer, and I'd say spring fragrance. Could also work in the fall, not so much maybe the winter. Um, again, but I love this one. It's really good. 
I don't know the notes of this one. And then we have our next one here. Our five on the line is Prada Luna Rossa Black. And this one I love a lot. I love that it's got that Luna Rossa design, but it's all black. It's like going from colors, just black and white. Very nice. It's atomizer. I'd say it's rather cheap, but it seems to work out pretty well. And the atomizer on this one is amazing. And what I love about this fragrance, imagine if you took Midnight in Paris and Tom Ford, Black Orchard, and kind of combine the two, and then there's a hint of Prada Luarm Sports in there. That's kind of what you get with this, and it's very nice. It's got a lot of really, just a lot of really beautiful notes. Again, I'm getting a lot of uh, richness and a lot of chocolatey and really fruity scents. It's very fruity, but also really powdery, really soft, works great for the night, works great during the winter, an amazing winter fragrance. Love this one very, so much. Recommend getting it at retailers. This one can be kind of pricey for some people. This one cost me about $110 at Macy's because I don't use retailers. Who uses retailers anymore? And my last one. This one here. Salade Nuit de Lomb by Yavis Saint Laurent. And I really like this one just because it's so seductive. It is one of the sexiest fragrances out there. The atomizer is really nice, and this is a very, very powdery, very soft scent. Very seductive. It works great throughout the day, and uh, works especially good for the night as a summer, as a spring summer fragrance. Might be able to go with the fall and winter. I think this fragrance overall is very versatile. Uh, I really love it. It is just beautiful. The quality of this is it's just so nice, and. I love it. Again, you'll, you'll hear some people say that they prefer the bigger atomizer, which would be the original formulations for this one. I heard that one's a lot better. But this is a very nice, fruity, citrusy, um, soft and powdery fragrance. Definitely love it. You're going to get notes of, I believe, what's going to be incense, lavender, um, pepper, and I believe there's some some other fruits in there as well. Very beautiful fragrance. Anyway, that's my fragrance review video for the my top six favorite fragrances. Hope you guys enjoy and keep watching as always. I'm James with the Nim and this has been another fragrance review.